started this industry, an underground industry. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to get too much in detail because right. it's still going on in different places. But right. um, as a beautiful woman, and uh, my partner is also a female, you know, um, most men get intimidated and automatically, okay, if you're not fucking them, then it's a problem and it's automatic beef. Until you get them to respect you as a boss, then they understand, okay, I'm not playing those games with you. You come to me as a boss, you can sit down at the table, we're going to eat together. This is not some, oh, I'm fucking to get to where I got to go, you know? So, um, it took a while for people to respect that, but we had to put our feet on niggas' neck. And they were surprised that we were coming at them like that. Oh, you know, you're not fucking that. I can't believe you coming at me like this. But it was on some like, no, like we, we threw events every Wednesday, for instance. And we didn't allow other people to throw events on Wednesdays. And they're like, oh, how two females doing it? Yeah, we have backing. We have niggas to back us if we need that. Mm -hmm. But it was on some, no, this is our day. And we would literally do things like take niggas flyers that was thrown on Wednesday, put yummy on it, throw our name on it, like basically spray paint over that shit and mm -hmm. be like, come to our event. Niggas was shocked. Mm -hmm. And now these niggas, same niggas, dap us up, give us love because they see what we created. And mm -hmm. a lot of people, we created a lot of brands under us you know mm -hmm. what i mean so mm -hmm. now it's all respect and all love but it did take some time where we were going back and forth on instagram making videos and it is drinking you know what i mean but sometimes you have to be like nah nigga you're not gonna do that because right. this is what we build and this is what we do mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so i understand what you mean by all that clutter and you know you don't really got time for that right mm -hmm. people, yeah. people know what they people go up against greatness for the clout so when you giving them that, it's all it's doing is boosting them up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like that's why we, we chilled on that. Right. Because right. it's like we're not boosting you up for numbers. Yo, it's like one thing I realized, yo, uh, one thing I realized on a content note. Mm -hmm. When I drop my regular content, mm -hmm. you get like a thousand I get like a thousand views in a day or something like that, two every two days, whatever, and then you, like a hundred something likes, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. As soon as I talk about another motherfucker, the views shoot down. The views shoot down, the, the lights shoot down. It's like, man, and it did on top of that, when it's time to post my good shit, nobody wanna hear it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that shit you was on, but sometimes you gotta do that. You, have you to. gotta step on a motherfucker. You have to. And then, like you said, like listen, you said something that I can really relate to. You know, that's that Scorpio shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can relate to that though. The motherfuckers that you had to put paws on, mm -hmm. you end up being with them, cool with them afterwards. Cool as fuck. <laughs> and they, they tell your story now. You out and they like, yo, nah, but these are badass bitches, yo. Like, the, now they respecting you. Uh -huh. But, you know, first they want to push up on you. Like, nah, I'm good. Mm -hmm. And they like, oh, you a bitch, you a that, fuck you. I'm not taking you serious. Mm -hmm. So they realize, oh, shit, she's still back. She, mm -hmm. she, she's still coming back. She's still doing great. Mm -hmm. I still see her on my Explore page. Mm -hmm. I already blocked her, but all my friends follow her, so I still see this. Like, it, it's like that, you know what I mean? So it's all love now, but...